living like a local. That's exactly how I've been living my time here in Vavau, Tonga, is living it the way of a Tongan. I've been super blessed to be taken in by family here in Tonga. I arrived, they picked me up from the airport, and been able to show me firsthand how to live like a Tongan. When I arrived my first night here, they, they asked me if I wanted to, to get something to eat and then sleep, and I told them I can easily do that, but I'd rather join them for dinner. I've offered to, to pay for dinner, I've offered to pay for things, gas, whatever it is. I express to them, I am not part of family, but I am here to experience what it's like to be with you like a family and live like a local. On the side, they have taken the time out to show me around the island, which I'm super grateful for. thing I've noticed traveling around Tonga, Vavau is very different from the rest of the islands as there are many islands here, the many bays, and despite what people say of how touristy it is, I feel like there's still a very strong ratio of island culture versus tourism. Empty. One time. One thing I've truly grown to appreciate in being here and staying with this family is it's just taking rides with them everywhere that they go. They go into town, run errands, they go into their nearby land, they have kava plants, they have taro plants, you name it, to basically supply not just themselves but the village. And that's something I've grown to appreciate. There's not like not like in the states or in, the, in most first world countries a sense of this is mine this is my privacy there is a sense of community here in Tonga and that's something I've grown to appreciate here in Vavau there's a sense of community everybody shares everybody has land that belongs to the community and I've asked oh is that his tractor and the response was no that's the communities everybody uses it when they need it and just the many things that I've noticed it, it answers why so many people are so friendly here and willing to help is because there is just a pure sense of community and unity. People are pretty selfless, I guess I guess you could say. You know, they're willing to help others out, whether you're a Palangi like myself or simply another Tongan. It's my second Sunday to enjoy here in Tonga, which means I'm dressing up once again in my Tupenu and Taubala in time for a church session. Unlike the first time it was in English, this is uh, this is in Tongan. So this is going to be a bit more traditional, something I'll definitely remember for the rest of my life.
Because places are closed on Sunday, there really isn't any options to get any food or supplies. So we stocked up yesterday and today, and making a traditional meal, or a traditional style of, of cooking is uh, umu. And um, we're helping out with preparations. Oh. Okay. Umu preparations. Yeah, and any good exercise. <laughs> Tongan exercise. Yeah. It's been the coconut, getting taro, talo as they say, taro tonga, which is basically cooking in like a hole in a pit. You ready? Mm hmm. <laughs> it burns the same. Yeah. This is so cool. And this is Kape? Yeah. Mapuni session. Ah, that's good. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Bon appetit. It's been a huge blessing staying here in Tonga. Experiencing all I've experienced. This opportunity has been one of the best in my travels lately, and I'm super blessed to have experienced what I've experienced. It's been an absolute pleasure being here in Tonga, all that I've experienced, but it is time to move on to the next islands. I've had some amazing experiences here, but here on Forward, I'll be doing something I've always dreamed of. I went over to the local marina to see if any boats had any extra space for crew, to sail on to my next destination and live the dream, live a true voyage. And there's no better way to enjoy a voyage, defining a voyage, than to be on a sail. Stay tuned, and happy travels.